It's been 120 years since the iconic Weston St. Francis opened its doors here in San Francisco. I'm in Union Square where the hotel historian is sharing with me a bit about the past and some highlights of the future. Going up? Well, that's where former busboy Howard Mutz went when he began working at the iconic Weston St. Francis back in 1972. He started with humble beginnings and worked his way up to manager and eventually official historian. Today, he continues to embrace new and old memories at the legendary hotel overlooking Union Square. I had a nice note from um, Mrs. Carter, Rosalind Carter, when she was a guest of the hotel and stayed here. She just thanked me for my hospitality and taking good care of them. And um, we've had several presidents that were here. Um, Mr. Bush Sr. used to stay here, and we always had to put in Diet Dr. Pepper because that was his drink of choice. The hotel was built back in 1904. It survived the 1906 earthquake, and over a century later, it's still standing today. As it celebrates its 120th birthday, Howard is reflecting on a few more special memories that he has had while serving the hotel for decades, like a special moment with legendary actress Betty Davis. I said, Miss Davis, welcome to the St. Francis. We're so thrilled to have you with us. I want to make sure I take care of all of your needs. And she said nothing at first, and I thought, well, maybe I've overset my bounds. And then all of a sudden she said, come on up. And up he went. From superstars to everyday tourists, Howard has built a lifetime of memories serving the guests at the St. Francis, and he's gained a work family too. As he spends time with hotel manager Cliff Clark, the two of them symbolize the past and future of the hotel. Cliff has been working arduously to bring about new updates to the hotel. As we go up the 32-story tower building to visit the newly updated iconic Windsor Suite, Yes, the one where Queen Elizabeth herself stayed. Cliff says a fresh take is just what the hotel needs. But don't worry, even with all the updates on the horizon, some things will remain, like these original ceiling moldings from 1913, still visible at one of their new restaurants, the Westin Club. Cliff is keeping his team in the loop with all the changes, including perhaps the biggest change of all, the landmark lobby on Powell Street. That monumental lobby where the coin phrase, meet me under the clock at the St. Francis came to existence, thanks to their past installation of one of the oldest master clocks on the West Coast, that lobby might be changing in design, but it will still be the focal welcoming point for the hotel. Cliff says while there are many shifts happening around the neighborhood, the St. Francis is here to stay. One thing that's consistent is all of these iconic hotels that have been here in San Francisco for over 100 years are still here. And even as times change, when it comes to Howard's heart for the hotel in the city of San Francisco, well, that's here to stay, too. Like home. This is my home. A home that remains from season to season.